Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to install Scientific Linux on Oracle VirtualBox. Before we start with the installation part of Scientific Linux, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding introduction to Scientific Linux, some of its features and some history of Scientific Linux. Scientific Linux is a Linux distribution produced by Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. It is a free and open source operating system based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux and aims to be as close to the commercial enterprise distribution as we can get it. This product is derived from the free and open source software made available by Red Hat, but it is not produced, maintained or supported by Red Hat. Specifically, this product is built from source code for Red Hat Enterprise Linux versions under the terms and conditions of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, EULA and GNU that is General Public License. The developer of Scientific Linux was Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, oblique European Organization for Nuclear Research that is CERN. It belongs to Unix operating system family. It is currently under the working state. It is open source and the initial release of Scientific Linux was on 10th May 2004 but the latest release is Scientific Linux 7.2 which was released on February 5, 2016. It uses the same YUM and RPM package manager and is available both for 32-bit and 64-bit and kernel is monolithic. The design philosophy, if we talk of design philosophy, the primary purpose of Scientific Linux was to produce a common Linux distribution for various labs and universities around the world, but the main goals is that it to be compatible with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. If we talk of the features, it is having as same features as we have Red Hat Linux and Scientific Linux offers wireless and Bluetooth out of the box and it comes with comprehensive range of softwares such as multimedia codecs, Samba and, Com and Compass as well as servers and client storage clients, networking and system administration tools. Now, as you can see on the screen, I have opened scientificlinux.org. It is the official website and you can find that you can download the Scientific Linux 7. Uh, I, I am using 7.1 in this video from this link. And if you want to have more, you can download over here. You can click on uh, documentation. It's a community in which you can get involved and you can even find more about Fermilab from this link. So let us uh, see that I have already downloaded the Scientific Linux. So click on properties. It is about 1.44 GB, which is mean that it is equal size of Ubuntu and even Linux Mint. So let us go to Oracle VirtualBox and let us start the installation. So click on new. Let us go with this Scientific Linux. And now you can see that it has taken the type Linux and version Linux 2.6, 3.x, 4.x, 64 bits. So click on next. So I allocate 2048 which means about 2 GB of RAM click on next click create click next next and I will allocate 15 GB of hard disk space to scientific Linux so click on create so now let us start so let us uh, browse over here and let us go to desktop and browse on this Scientific Linux 7.1 version which is the latest and I'm using the Genome. So it's a live DVD and we will be installing it like the same which we have done in Linux Mint. So click on open and click on start. Click on view full screen mode. So now you can see that uh, start Scientific Linux live DVD which is having the Genome desktop troubleshooting it is no required so let us take the first option and press enter. So let me close this for you. So first of all, we will be seeing the live edition of Scientific Linux and after that we will be installing. So you can see that it is having the same bar interface as we have the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 or maybe the latest that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Basically, it is made from Red Hat Linux. So you can find everything, the same commands, same configurations of the server as we do into Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So let's wait and let us see the main desktop in which we will finding the try version of Scientific Linux. And yes, so now you can see it is having the same genome type desktop as we were having in Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So welcome, it is United Kingdom. So click on next, next. So I just click next and start with Scientific Linux. 
So let us wait for 1.2 seconds so, so that it can be getting involved. So the web browser has come. It is saying about the genome desktop, change the wallpaper. It is giving you everything. Even the videos are also there. So let us start with the installation. So now you can find there is a link over there that is installed to hard drive. So I just press enter over here. And let us wait for Anaconda. Again, I say it is based on Red Hat Linux. So Anaconda will be again there as an installer in order to install Scientific Linux on uh, Oracle VirtualBox. Or maybe you can use VMware uh, Workstation. You can do so. The same things will be there. So let us wait for the installation to start. And till it starts, let us pause the video. So now you can see that it has started. And it has seen that is welcome to Scientific Linux 7.1. It is saying English as a language and United Kingdom. You can I can choose English India because I'm living in India. So India will be good enough for me. So click on continue. So make it sure that you uh, have some patience while installing because uh, I can say that it will take some time because it is somewhat slow in Oracle VirtualBox. So it is saying the localization that is date and time, Asia, Kolkata, keyboard, English, network, it is saying wired ENP OS3 connected. And for the installation where it is automatic partitioning, let us first of all wait till it gives us the proper thing. So let us start with the partitioning. So let me click on view. So this is the then thing over there. So automatic uh, configure partitioning, it is okay for me. So click on done. So let us again think over there. So you can find that there are some bugs over here also. So it is saving the storage now. So yes, so it has done that with the automatic partitioning. So click on begin installation. So now you can see that there are some user settings that is root password and user creation. So click on this root password and let me give a root password. And let us click on done. So double click over there and let me create one user also with my name. And username it has taken that is a Nair. And let me give the password. Good enough. So click done. So double click it. So it is now installing the software and it will take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to install and till it installs let us pause the video. So now you can see that it has uh, taken 100% completion of installing of the software. And now it is moving towards the next part. So installing the software has taken about 10 to 15 minutes. So if you can provide it more RAM, so it can take about 7 to 10 minutes, but 10 to 15 minutes will be there. So let us wait for the next steps. So now you can see that it has started installing the bootloader. So the steps are, you can say are uh, taking much time. So now it is configuring the install system, generating initram FS, same which we have into Linux Mint, into Debian or into Ubuntu. So, but, but make it sure that you have extra time to spare when you install this because it will take much, much time. So let me full screen it so that you can view. So I think so it will take one or two minutes more. So, so now it is running the post installation scripts and complete. And yes, voila. So Scientific Linux is now complete and ready for you to use. When you're ready, reboot the system to start using it. So let us click on quit. And now let us wait for the system to reboot. So now it has started booting. And now in few seconds, we will be seeing the main update or you can say the main uh, front end interface of Scientific Linux. So now you can see that we have done with the main thing and uh, here you can see everything uh, that is scientific linux nitrogen part and you can just press enter and you can start with the boot so you can say the interface will be the same what we have seen and uh, do give it a shot and i hope that you like this video thank you so much